The next time you check into a hotel, this is why you should block the bath with a heavy bag. Before we continue with the rest of the video, we could use your help. Click that like button to help spread the word about Watch Jojo, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. When you embark on a far flung business trip or a week away with your loved ones, you're likely to go traveling at some point. And hotels are often an integral part of the travel experience. Acting as a base for hitting the hay, perhaps, or a haven full of welcome creature comforts. But wherever you choose to lay your head, these handy hotel hacks will make sure that you get the most out of your stay. And we'll explain why you should, in fact, literally put your money down the drain. 40. Snap up the best deal by booking direct. Instead of arranging your trip through booking sites, where you may have to deal with sneaky commission fees, check out the hotel's own website. There you'll often find the cheapest options for your chosen dates. And if you're hunting for freebies, you'll be more likely to succeed if you contact the place you're looking to stay at directly. Choice Hotels, for example, offers a $50 reward card if you've shopped around and found a better rate on one of their rooms through another provider. 39. Call the front desk to beat online offers. Alternatively, contacting the hotel directly by calling the hoteliers themselves can also work wonders. Mike Richard, travel guru and founding editor of the site Vagabondish, advocates this method. In a 2014 interview with Wise Bread, he explained, Find the best possible deal online. Then call the hotel and see if they'll do better. I find better deals more than 75% of the time. 38. Rack up air miles while you're booking. If you'd rather boost your frequent flyer miles than save pennies, however, try booking your hotel through a website such as Rocket Miles. And although you may end up paying a little extra for your room by doing this, you'll nevertheless stack up both loyalty points and miles that may make the next trip even cheaper. 37. Get upgrades for special occasions. If your trip is in honor of a big event, be sure to inform the hotel of that before you arrive. That's a tip from traveler Nicole Connolly, who suggested that a quick call or note during booking may be the way to an easy upgrade. Connolly added to Wisebread, You might be lucky enough to find yourself in a deluxe spa suite with champagne and chocolates awaiting your arrival. 36. Use a room reseller site if your plans change. When you've got to cancel your hotel room and lose your payment, it sucks. But by using a site such as Cancelon to offer your room to another vacation goer, you can avoid having to write off that cash for good. Be warned, though, that you won't stand to make a profit. Reseller fees will eat into your return, for instance, and you'll also be hard-pressed to find a taker for your room if you charge full price. On the other hand, if you're looking to book a room through one of these sites, you may find yourself able to pick up something pretty cheaply. 35. Book a room in the middle of a hallway for a good night's sleep. If getting a solid eight hours of sleep is non-negotiable during your trip, ask for a hotel room that's more or less at the midpoint of the hallway. By choosing to stay there, you'll probably be far away from the ice machine, the exit points, or anywhere else where people are likely to produce some noise. 34. Stay away from the pool for peace and quiet. In addition, you should always opt for a room that doesn't overlook the pool if you're after a solid 40 winks. Yes, you'd have a great view, but it would come at a price. For those looking for fun, pools are often high on the list of places to hang out after dark, making them potential hotspots for noise in the early hours. And you'll be even more likely to hear the revelry if you're in a pool-facing room. 33. Fashion blackout curtains in a pinch with a clothes hanger. When you're finally in your room and ready to sleep, turn your hotel's shades into blackout curtains so that you aren't woken up in the early morning sun. And it's simple to do. Just use the clips from a nearby hanger in order to close any gaps where the light may shine through. 32. Create your own white noise machine. To make doubly sure that you won't be disturbed by unexpected sounds at nighttime, use the hotel's air conditioning unit. By turning on the fan in the AC, you'll create a soothing type of white noise that ought to help cover up any commotion taking place outside. And in turn, you'll hopefully benefit from a quiet night's rest. 31. Restuff your pillow to suit your needs. 
Even if there's no noise to bother you, it may be a struggle to get to sleep if your hotel pillow causes you discomfort. But once again, there's something you can do to help. Simply swap out the pillow itself for a soft item of your choosing, a sweater or hand towel perhaps. 30. Make a homemade humidifier to breathe better. And if hotel aircon has previously been the source of some breathing issues, try creating a DIY humidifier. Just grab an ironing board, if where you're staying provides one, then position it close to the AC unit and cover the board with a damp towel in order to increase the room's moisture levels. 29. If you're concerned about security, use the Do Not Disturb sign. According to travel blogger Matthew Karsten, the Do Not Disturb sign is useful for more than just ensuring you get that additional hour or two of sleep. He told Wisebread, if you're staying in a cheap or sketchy hotel somewhere and don't want to leave your expensive stuff with housekeeping, just keep the sign outside your door for the length of your trip. 28. But the clean room sign is a no-go. Conversely, if you hang the clean room sign on your door handle, you're inadvertently advertising to potential thieves that you're out. And you may not require housekeeping to tidy up so frequently anyway. As Karsten pointed out to Wisebread, who really needs the room cleaned every single day? 27. Use your business cards to keep the power running. If the hotel that you're staying in uses a key card scheme, it's likely that you'll only be able to whack up the AC and charge your phone when you've got the card inserted into the slot next to the door. And naturally, when you leave the room, you'll be taking the key with you. If you'd rather come back to fully juiced devices and a cool environment, though, simply put a credit or business card in your room's key place before you step out. 26. Make your own drinks cooler. When you're in need of a drink during your stay, don't waste your money on the hotel bar. Instead, use this savvy traveling tip that a commenter named Namidia shared on Lifehacker in 2013. Pick up a six-pack from the gas station. Fill your bathroom sink with ice from the machine and water and use it as a cooler. And this trick works for other packaged beverages too, including non-alcoholic ones. 25. Scout out free bottled water in the gym. Meanwhile, if you'd rather drink mineral water than anything from the tap, there could be no need to dig out your wallet in order to do so. Nomedia also suggested on Lifehacker, go to your hotel's exercise room as there's usually free bottled water there. Staying hydrated while at the same time saving money? Count us in. 24. Cook up tasty treats with an iron. But that's not all when it comes to pinching your pennies. You can scrimp on eating costs, too. Yes, rather than opting for often expensive room service, you can cook up some tasty snacks using regular household items. Boil an egg in the room's kettle if there is one, and pick up some bread from a nearby store to whip up a cheap breakfast. And for the more adventurous, an iron can be used in a pinch to make a tasty grilled cheese. 23. Store leftovers in your shower cap. And there's more that a shower cap can do than just keeping your head dry. Try wrapping up leftovers, whether they're from room service or one of your own creations, in the plastic, for instance. After that, simply slide the food into the fridge for whenever you feel peckish. 22. Childproof your room with duct tape. If you're traveling with young kids, then a childproofed room is crucial. But if your hotel doesn't offer a fully toddler friendly space, then there's still something you can do to keep your little one safe. Just pack a roll of duct tape in your suitcase. That way you can cover up electrical outlets and get rid of sharp corners with ease. 21. Turn your ironing board into a child-sized meal table. If you find yourself needing to host an impromptu art session for your children or just require somewhere for them to eat, then a table in your room is key. Don't fret if there doesn't seem to be any suitable surface for the task at hand. Bring out the ironing board instead. Although you may want to make sure that it's nice and stable before any activities commence 20 buy a Wi-Fi base station to bypass hotel charges Although free Wi-Fi in hotels is becoming more and more common some places still charge for the privilege of getting online You can bypass these fees however by making sure that a Wi-Fi base station becomes a staple of your suitcase by using a gadget such as the Apple Airport Express, for instance, you can make your own Wi-Fi hotspot and so avoid paying through the nose to answer emails or watch Netflix while away. 19. 
cut your cell phone bill with Skype for business. Furthermore, if you need to make regular calls, try talking via Skype for business. The software could work out a whole lot cheaper than merely using your cell, particularly if you're overseas, as a Skype for business contract comes in at a mere $2 a month. 18. Get your favorite content from home on your hotel TV. If you know you're going to get a bit of downtime and you have some shows to catch up on, that's no problem. Just take an HDMI cable and a laptop pre-downloaded with your favorite box sets and movies along on your trip. That way you may be able to connect your device to the hotel room's TV, meaning you can watch to your heart's content on a bigger screen. 17. Stream shows directly from your devices. But there's also a less fiddly method to watch TV during your stay. If you own a Google Chromecast and can access the hotel's Wi-Fi, you can bypass cables and stream shows straight from your devices. Plus, you don't need a laptop to achieve this. A smartphone or a tablet should do just as well. 16. Maximize your socket space. With all the electronic accoutrements that the everyday 21st century traveler carries, you may also panic about whether there will be enough outlets in your room to charge your many devices. But there's no need to worry. Just pack a small power plug that has enough ports to satisfy your needs, and then locate the best place socket available. 15. Use the TV to charge your smartphone. What's more, there's yet another way to increase your plug potential. If you're lucky enough to have a relatively up-to-date TV available, then look at its back to see if it has a USB port. And if that's the case, then simply attach your cable to the port and plug in your smartphone or other gadget wherever it needs to be charged. 14. Provide the soundtrack to your stay with a homemade speaker. And now we come to our last tech-based hack, how you can transform a piece of crockery into a speaker. Just find a glass, one without any liquid in it, of course, and put your smartphone inside to amplify its sound. This is a particularly useful tip if you're after some tunes while in the shower, as the glass may help to stop your phone from getting wet in the bathroom. 13. Block your bath with a heavy bag of coins. And now we come on to the slightly less glamorous topic of laundry. If you're looking to skip sky-high hotel bills for cleaning your clothes, then you're in luck, since there's a way to freshen up your wardrobe on the cheap. How? Well, it's easy. Firstly, place a plastic bag with coins and use it to block the drain of your bathtub. Then simply pour some water in, rinse your clothes, and get scrubbing with the free soap. 12. Turn towel radiators into laundry tools. Once you've finished washing your dirty clothes, however, you may wonder exactly where to put them. But the best location may be right in front of you. Yes, the bathroom's towel radiators are practically perfect to drape your garments over so they can dry. 11. Put your shoes in the shower cap. And if you've gone to the trouble of washing your wardrobe, the last thing you want is for your grimy shoes to be nestled against your fresh clothes on the journey home. Wrap the offending footwear in a shower cap before popping them into your suitcase. 10. Steam out wrinkles with your shower. If your hotel lacks a working iron or you'd rather not be spending your vacation doing chores, then there's still a quick method of getting pesky creases out of your clothes. Yes, by closing the bathroom door and then turning on a hot shower, you can create a working steamer in a pinch. After that, just hang your tired-looking garments as close as you can to the water without them being in the splash zone, and the wrinkles should be gone within mere minutes. 9. Get out your hair dryer for instant steaming. However, if time's too short for you to use the shower to iron out the creases in your clothes, you can achieve similar results with your hotel room's hair dryer. By grabbing your wrinkled t-shirt or pair of pants and then directing the air from the dryer's nozzle across the garment, you'll achieve an effect similar to that achieved by a fancy steamer. 8. Shave your face and take off your mascara with just one hair product. The toiletries in your hotel bathroom can be used for more than simply having a great shower. If you don't have shaving foam and you want to defuzz yourself, for instance, or if you've gotten your eye makeup remover in the rush to get on the road, conditioner is a more than serviceable substitute for either product. 7. Stop pesky post-shower mirror fog. The night before you take a shower, give the bathroom mirror a once-over with a bar of soap and then remove the residue with a dry cloth 
and for the next few days you should have a condensation free reflective surface meaning you can use the mirror to shave or apply your makeup just moments after you step out of the water handy right 6 lotion up your shoes in addition you can use the complimentary lotion to make sure that you're looking your best but perhaps not in the way you'd expect you see moisturizer can double as shoe polish if need be so take a small dab and rub it into your footwear to improve their appearance 5 keep your toothbrushes clean and there's also an easy way to make sure that the bathroom essentials you brought with you stay as clean as possible pack clothing clips in your wash bag and use them to prop up your toothbrushes that way there's less chance of introducing any germs to your gums 4 treat yourself with a homemade sugar scrub if you'd rather not splash out at the hotel spa then you can always whip up your own DIY treatment in the comfort of your hotel room mix one of the hotel's sugar packets with water to create a sugar scrub that you can use to exfoliate your lips your limbs or anywhere else that needs a little bit of TLC alternatively grab some lemon slices from the bar and apply their juice on the knees or elbows for skin that's smoother to the touch three Take your hotel toiletries home. You're certainly not alone if you take a miniature bottle of shampoo or three home from your stay. And hotel industry veteran Jacob Tomsky encourages this practice too. In 2018, he told the Daily Telegraph, We hope you take the amenities. We want you to use them later and think of us. We want that $1.79 shoehorn you stole to be the reason you book another room with us at a rate of $279 per night plus tax. 2. You can get away with taking most complimentary items. Furthermore, Tomsky has even urged people to be more adventurous in their hotel pilfering. Consider the unmanned housekeeper's trolley a smash and grab situation, he advised. As for how to explain yourself if you're ever caught in the act, Tomsky added, just say to the housekeeper that you were out of shampoo, or even better, out of toilet paper, and thought you'd save them the trouble by grabbing it for yourself. Number 1. Head down to the front desk if you've forgotten anything. Meanwhile, if you've neglected to bring your phone charger with you or realize that you've left deodorant out of your toiletries bag, it's worth telling someone at the front desk. Other guests leave their own belongings behind after all, and so there may be a handy supply of lost goods that the staff will let you take for free.